You may wonder why I switched to layer milk. Well, I got to look after my fitness trainer told me about the good stuff inside. You should try it. Exercise and making good nutrition decisions like drinking calcium and rich loyal milk every day is vital because it helps you nourish your bones and body so that you can live a more active life every day. That's why I encourage my clients and ensure that my family gets their loyal milk too. So, make that switch to calcium fortified loyal milk because it's what's inside that matters. Welcome back. Governor, I walked in here. You're wearing your red hat. Virtually everybody else around you is wearing a red hat. My little knowledge that I know is Igbos in Nigeria that wear red hats. Do you have any Igbo blood in you? <laughs> <laughs> um, here, we have, or well, we had Malam Amin Kano, of blessed uh, memory, who was always wearing red cap white gown and black shoe and that was why during that time the flag of PRP was red white and black now Aminu Kano has been our leader so you were to Aminu honor Kano. him so we from that time decided to emulate him not only on what he was preaching but even what he was doing. And so that is was it a requirement now for members of your it's government? It's not a requirement. Okay. It's voluntarily. Uh, anywhere you go, you find members of the PDP then, or SDP, or now APC. People are free to put whatever color they want. But the fact remains that if you are dressed like me, it means you have to be careful you must not be seen in places where you should not go. You must not do things that uh, people who say, why is he doing that? Because you can easily be identified. In other words, if you put it, it's good. Like you are on now, you are mainly red, which is okay, well, and white. I'm so automatically, yes. you are a member of Concorsia <laughs> by this dress. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why maybe if this is the reason why you have only one woman in your cabinet because she's not able to wear the, the red cap and become part of you. How come there's only one woman in, in now, the Kano see, just recently, cabinet? The first lady gave me an award for involving women in government. It is not only in the cabinet that we have women. We have women all over. But let me say that we had two, at least two, one decided to resign, so you should not blame us for... The Why didn't you replace her with another woman? Yes, you see, let me put it this way. We are always encouraging women, encouraging women to work harder. And I believe women in this state have taken the challenge. If you become president, are we going to see only one female minister on your cabinet? No, 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 no. no. You see, um, you will get so many women in the cabinet. Uh, it is very important. We give them an opportunity. Any government at all levels that ignore women is as good as ignoring more than 50% of its own population. We will make sure that they are given all the challenges, all the appointments that the government decides uh, to make. Now you referred earlier to an award that you got from the first lady. Is that really a first lady in Kano State? Because I was doing my research, I couldn't find a picture anywhere. There was nothing about her in the newspapers. It's like she's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, I have one wife and six children. And um, my wife has so much to do to take care of the children and, of course, to take care of her husband and the family uh, generally. And I personally feel that I must not allow my wife to put her fingers where she doesn't know much uh, about. 
but all functions that we have seen first ladies doing elsewhere that has been left in the office of the commissioner for women affairs if and you I think make that it is, to Rock. that is good for me it is good for my wife it is good for the family and certainly is good for the state is this a policy you will carry to the um, presidency if you make it all the way well unless if we have any reason to change here it worked for us over the years um, what about all the sort of Nigerian women who may be looking to people like her as role models well like I told you this is what we have on the ground and it has worked very well for us uh, considering our are you rigid about it in other words I'm trying to find out if you got to national yeah, office that's would you I, be willing I yeah I understand that position we took has been welcomed by our people especially the women they are appreciating our position and this is what we are doing and what is being appreciated now if we go there certainly the situation will be looked into and see merits and demerits and from there we take an appropriate action excellency thank you so much for being a guest on straight talk Thank you, Kadria. You've been watching Straight Talk with me, Kadria Ahmed. My guest was His Excellency, the Governor of Kano State, Engineer Rabi Musa Kongoso, with whom I discussed his ambition to become President of Nigeria in 2015, his style of governance in Kano, and the security challenges facing the country. Join me next week when I'll be in conversation with another special guest. Have a very good evening.